Hi, it's Angie from Mageworks. Thank you for joining. In this video, we'll discuss the enhanced fee settings that can be added to the basic settings we've already discussed in the previous video. Uh, so these settings are optional, but uh, this doesn't mean they are less important. No, I believe they have a crucial importance sometimes, uh, so let's review them. The first setting we are going to talk about is conditions. This is a very important and widely used setting. Um, it allows you to add more flexibility to your fees. You can make your fees product specific, for example, or make fee applied to the card only if the card subtotal is below specific value, for example. All these conditions um, uh, can be created here. So let's click Add Condition button. Uh, here you see the structure. You need to select Condition, uh, select Condition Operator and add the actual value. So uh, if we expand the menu, you can see that there is a great number of conditions based on product attributes. Also, if you select the card type here, uh, you'll get uh, additional conditions card total price, total card weight, and uh, total uh, quantity of items in the card. Uh, also, there is one uh, unique, quite unique condition, customer tag. It allows you to create fees for a segmented list of customers. For example, you can add a specific value, tag value, to um, customers' accounts and add that value here. Um, as a result, only authorized customers that have that tag assigned to their accounts uh, will be charged with a fee. You can add more conditions, as many as you need. As you need, um, we don't have any limitations, uh, so you can mix these conditions and decide on the condition type. Uh, you can select all conditions in this case. Fee will be applied if all conditions are true at the same time, or any condition. In this case, fees will work if any of these condition is true. Okay, you can play around with this feature, and I truly believe you will find it helpful. Okay, let's move on. Next setting is geography, locations, in other words. Um, it's useful, it's a useful setting if you want a fee work for specific countries, specific regions, specific states. Uh, for example, you need to add a Californian tax. You need to select the second option here, show fee only for specific countries. Uh, find United States in the list and um, select California. Okay, here we are. Now our fee will be applied to users who um, purchase from California. Uh, if you want fee work for most of the countries, but you have some exceptions, you need to change uh, this um, checkbox to the last one, show fee for all countries except the one specified, and add uh, countries or states or regions, whatever, to this list of exceptions. Also, um, here I should add a very important note. You should keep in mind that this uh, setting works based on customers' IP addresses only, not shipping, not billing address. The app itself is card-based. It works in the card. So it's impossible uh, to retrieve any data from the next stage, from the checkout, while the shipping billing addresses are added at the checkout. Also, the checkout page itself is a secured page. Its source code is not made available, so it's impossible to pull out data from the checkout while being in the cart. That's why the app is card-based, not checkout-based, and that's why we can't operate with uh, shipping information, payment information, uh, because all this information is added, selected at the checkout. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the next um, block is, uh, contains quite simple settings. Uh, here you can decide whether a fee should be required or not. Uh, for example, if you have a fee of a hidden field type, uh, this setting will be preselected by default because uh, hidden field uh, fees are mandatory. But for all the other types, this setting is available. You can select and select it. Uh, also here you can add a description to your fee. It will be uh, added as a tooltip when you hover over the fee title and you can add um, fee product property name to um, it will be added to the product that represents fee at the checkout. Also, if you select a product fee here, um, there will be an additional setting available. Its fee is one time. Um, uh, it allows you to decide whether a fee 
uh, should be charged uh, only once uh, despite the quantity of a product added to the cart. Let's say you added a product at a quantity of 10 and if this setting is enabled, this product will be added, uh, will be charged with a fee only once, not 10 times. Uh, thank you for your attention. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.